Hey guys, welcome to the Step Outside YouTube channel. If you want to see catches like this, stick around, like and subscribe. Here's what's coming up. Hey team, I've got Justin Wilmer from TT uh, with me today. Mate, tell me about the Mullet Super Gel scent because this particular Procure uh, scent is good for plastic. Some have, some don't. What's the benefit of a fish scent? Yeah, you will find that some Z-Man plastics come scented already with Procure in the packet, mm. uh, and then others do not. So I like to scent all my plastics up. For me, you want to give yourself the best chance of catching fish. You know, you've got the gear, you're out there, yeah. you want to maximize your chances. So by adding scent to our plastic, we're doing a few different things. We're masking any foreign odors that might be on our hands, fuel, sunscreen, bug spray, those sorts of things. Mm. We're assisting to mask that smell. We're also adding scent to the plastic, so that's powerful amino acids, bite stimulants, all that sort of thing that might fire the fish up. And also we're getting the fish to hang on to that plastic for longer. Where do you put it though? Because you see that this is the, the gel. Do you put it right down the tail across the whole thing? Do you need to put it all over your hands and smother the whole lot? Or do you just put a little dob on? Yeah, this the bottle's cool because it's got a, an easy dispenser nozzle on. So if you don't yeah. want to, if you don't want to touch the stinky gear, you don't have to touch it. Right. You can just put a bit on the plastic. Okay. Me. I like to put a dob on each side of the head yep. and I'll slide it right down to the tip of the tail. Okay. And that'll generally last me sort of 30 to 50 casts. Wow. And then I'll put a bit more scent on. Because it is a gel, it does stick it really well. It goes a long well. way. Yeah. Is there a difference between salt water and freshwater species to a different gel that you should be using? Yeah, so we do a variety of different flavours. So something like a mullet is a fresh and salt water species. So, you know, it'll adapt to both. A lot of times people might do choose a flavour that relates to the style of plastic they're using. Yep. Or they might go for that intro salt water or a shrimp or a mullet. Okay. Or they might go for a more freshwater style of scent in the fresh. But yeah, they're all they're all effective. They contain that laboratory science stuff, but they also contain real ground dead stuff, which fish like to eat. Which I can smell on my yeah. fingers right about now. There you have it. Grab some, put it in your tackle box. It's not going to leak out, and of course, it'll enhance your next fishing trip. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. It makes sense. Hey guys, if you're casting a net and you're after something down deep like prawns, for example, give it a bit of a toss, bit of a, a whack on that rope, what happens is that net comes together and pulls all the prawns to the surface or the bait fish. So it eliminate any fish from or prawn dragging out to the bottom and you end up with a nice healthy haul similar to this. Three prawns. <laughs> Thanks for watching Step Outside YouTube channel for lots of cooking and fishing action. Like, subscribe, and of course, comment for more catches like this and cooking recipes.